Hello everyone, Danielle here again. Welcome back to my channel. Back at it with another video for the first time in weeks. Now, I know I haven't been uploading as much as I should, and that is just because I started school again. I started school again. It is time for me to focus on my studies. I just took a math test yesterday, and I'm hoping and praying that I passed it because I finished it all on time and I'm hoping and praying that I passed the math test. And I'm in honors English now, so I am gonna be writing paper after paper most likely. And in addition to that, I'm also in abnormal psych, which probably means towards the end of the semester that I might have to write some type of dissertation. So just be aware that I'm going to be extremely busy with school, so I won't be uploading as frequently on this channel, but I will most likely be uploading more frequently around winter break, which reminds me that coming this winter break, we're going to be like, I'm going to be on YouTube here for a year. I can't believe I started this YouTube channel like, I believe, no, actually, I've been on YouTube for two years. Wow. Because I started in my senior year of high school during Christmas break. And then, so now I've been on YouTube here for two years. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. So today I have a video for you guys on The Flash because three weeks from today, three weeks, The Flash is coming back to the CW. Yes! We no longer have to wait. It's coming. I've been seeing the promotional trailers, the photos, everything. So I do have to say I'm super, super pumped for everything that's to come for The Flash this season. Really excited. And if you guys are wondering about how pigmented my eyeshadow is, how I got to this amount of pigmentation, I took a Smashbox palette that I have in my collection that doesn't have that much pigmentation because it's very nude and neutral with pinks and purples. So what I did is I took my wet brushes because I'm currently cleaning my room. I'm in the process of cleaning my room, dusting furniture. So I cleaned off all my makeup brushes and they were, are still a little bit wet. So I did this eye look with a wet brush and oh my God, the wetness just made the pigmentation so much better on my lids. I have to give a shout out to Madison Miller on YouTube because she gave me this tip. So thank you, Madison Miller. I love you. So now we're going to go into The Flash Season 4. So we've already been seeing promotional trailers, videos, everything for The Flash this season, obviously. And the first couple episodes are going to be covered covered in the trailer so if you guys want to watch the trailer i highly recommend that you watch the trailer and i already know that so many youtubers out there like pagey and emergency awesome already beat me to this so i'm way 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 behind with the trailers being covered by me and that's because I've just been really busy. Like, I have a lot of time into schoolwork, so I can't really put time into a full-time channel. But I do have to try editing more. I have to get, like, a more professional camera and a proper editor. I think I might want to get an iPad. So that way I can edit my videos better. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But with the Flash Season 4, we saw footage from the first couple bull episodes and we obviously saw footage covered from the first episode they gave us a lot of stuff to see and i'm actually surprised that they put as much in there but it just makes us even more excited so obviously when barry exits the speed force he comes out naked he does not come out with a new suit like people were hoping for but i think i got Everybody pretty much knows why he came out of the Speed Force just naked. And there's a good reason for that. Because they're describing this as the Flash Rebirth. They're describing it as sort of like a baptism for Barry. He's going to be stripped of all of his sins, all of his fears, all of his doubts, all of his sadness, all of his barrenness. He's going to be stripped of that. 
and he's going to be coming out clean. He's going to be coming out new. He's going to be having a lot more emotional maturity. So he's going to be closer to the Barry Allen from the comics. So I really, really love that they took it in that direction and they chose now to do it. So I'm really, really, really excited to see that. But the way how they describe it is that Barry is going to come out scrambled. He's going to come out scrambled. He's going to be essentially talking nonsense. And when Cecile and Joe and Iris and Caitlin and Wally and Cisco all enter, like, the room that he's hiding out in, in the CCPD, obviously... You all see the writing on the wall. And obviously what you don't do is screw around with the writing on the wall. You just don't do that. So there's obviously a bunch of weird symbols on the wall. And we can only assume that that has something to do with what he learned in the Speed Force. Because he's going to be coming out almost a different person. He is going to have a lot more emotional maturity but a lot more intelligence. He's going to have a lot more information in his brain that he needs to learn to process faster and quicker he needs to think quicker so that actually is going to be helping a lot because he is up against the thinker Clifford DeVoe this season so I'm actually really really excited to see where this takes us and I'm really really happy with the results so far but I am kind of disappointed that he did not come out with a super suit made by energy from the speed force because obviously you know a lot of people were probably hoping for that that kind of pisses me off too that he's not coming out with a super suit with the super suit made from speed force energy and cisco's probably going to be even more pissed about that because no actually cisco would have been probably really pissed if the speed force made a better suit than he could have so maybe it's for the best <laughs> but this season um we're gonna be seeing a lot with barry and iris especially because they get married this season they're getting married in the crossover john diggle's gonna be officiating it oh my god i'm so excited so yes i'm so excited so 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 excited for what's to come with flash i can't even wait for it any longer been waiting a long time feels like a long time and this past weekend they just had heroes and villains fan fest here in new jersey obviously i didn't go because i didn't purchase the tickets in time i didn't get tickets in time to go but next year next year i will be coming for heroes and villains fan fest for sure no doubt because Stephen amell goes every year to heroes and villains obviously so i obviously want to go to that in all honesty i want to go to that mm-hmm so um, what we also take away from the trailer is that Iris, in a way, is almost, in a way, angry at Barry for entering the Speed Force. Now, like, I know a lot of people are probably like, oh my god, like, why is she angry at him? You know, the world was, like, practically ending. You know, like, why is she pissed at him? She should be happy for him. You know, he, he saved the world. But the thing is, is that if you think about it, it was all rushed. It was all rushed towards the end, and they never really had, like, a very clear conversation about what he was going to do. And he just sort of left her. So, I can understand from my own standpoint that I can understand why Iris would be angry at Barry. I can totally understand. But I think that she'll also be really happy to have him back. I think that everybody on Team Flash is going to be, like, way happier that he's back. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything that's going to be in Flash Season 4. We also know that Caitlyn's not going to be losing her crap anymore with her Killer Frost powers. So, there's positive. So, now we're going to move into some information on Arrow. Obviously, I heard that Oliver Queen's getting a new suit. He's getting a new suit! Yes! I'm so excited! He's getting a new suit. And obviously we also know about what's to come in this season that everybody is essentially going to be getting their own individual villain to go up against, which I am excited about. I'm so excited to see everybody get their own villain. They have Michael Emerson. So it's going to be a really good season of Arrow. I think it's going to be a really good season of Arrow. And so in addition to that with Arrow, um... 
Like, I don't know what else you could possibly cover with Arrow other than the fact that everybody's getting their own individual villain this season. But it sucks I can't really remember what I wanted to cover with Arrow just because I just saw Paige's, like, last couple videos on the subject. So, it's like... Mmm... But I do know that major cha- that major changes are taking place with Arrow, so I'm really, really looking forward to the changes that are coming. And obviously, I'm really, really excited for Arrow that this new suit's coming. They're introducing a new trick Arrow, and I believe. Mm, what else is happening with Arrow that I didn't cover yet? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Like, basically, from what we've seen of the trailers, you know, they haven't really given too much away. You know, they haven't really given too much away. So, I don't think that I'm the best person to go to for information with Arrow right about now. But there are better YouTubers out there that go more in-depth. So, check out Paigey and Emergency Awesome. They're better at, like, going more in-depth because they actually read the comics. I don't read the comics. I read a few of them. I've read a few of them. I've read some of the Outsiders comics with Roy Harper and Dick Grayson. Obviously, I've read that because I love Roy Harper. And I've also read a couple of the Wally West Flash Flash comics. I've read the Green Lantern and Flash crossover Brave and the Bold. Like, I am just not the person to, like, go to for comic book information just because I don't read the comics. The only information I get from it for from the comics are YouTubers and Wikipedia. And I know Wikipedia is not the most reliable, but hey. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. And if you guys like this video, you can comment down below and subscribe because I know for a fact I will be reviewing Arrow and Flash episodes. I don't know if I'm going to be reviewing Supergirl and Legends just because I'm not caught up on Supergirl and Legends, but I do know I'm going to be reviewing Flash and Arrow, and I think I might also watch Black Lightning. I'm going to give Black Lightning an open mind, and I'm going to try watching that too, and I also want to watch the new Titans TV show that's going to be released through the DC TV screen streaming service, and in addition to that... I want to come up with a memorable Halloween costume. So this year for Halloween, I think I want to dress up as either as either Batgirl or a female version of Robin. Because in all honesty, I want to represent my love for DC. And in all honesty, I found a female Flash costume online, and it's no sleeps. I'll get cold. So therefore, female Flash costumes out of the question. But Robin or Batgirl completely open to. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Bye guys.